Hello students, my name is Sandeep Shetty. Today, we are going to learn a very beautiful subject that is physics. In this subject, we are going to start with a chapter. The name of the chapter is Motion and Types of Motion. Let us first understand students, what exactly do we mean by the term motion? Suppose I say a boy is running. He is moving from one place to another. Yes, I can say that the boy is in motion. Similarly, a person is carrying a heavy load on his back and again moving from one place to another. Again, I say the person is performing some kind of motion. You must have seen a player playing football. When the player is playing football, obviously with the football, he is moving from one place to another. So we say, the player is in motion. So having understood exactly what is motion, let us understand what causes motion. Suppose there is a train, this train is not moving. And there are a lot of people who are applying some force to move the train. So when the people are applying force, the wagon moves. Similarly, let us take one more example. A car has halted. There are people who are pushing the car. And when the people are pushing the car, we say a force is applied on the car. So, students, similarly, a car has stopped in between. And if we have to move this car, again, we have to apply some kind of force. So, let us now understand what is the cause of motion. The cause of motion is nothing else but force. Having understood the cause of motion, let us now go into the depth of what exactly do we mean by the term motion. Change in the position with respect to surrounding is called motion. There are motions which are of different different types. These are called as motions of different types and there are basically five different types of motion. The first type of motion is called as linear motion. The second type of motion is called as oscillatory motion. The third, a very simple one periodic motion, random motion, fourth and the last one is called as circular motion. Students, you must have heard about these different different types of motion. You haven't? So let's see what are the different types of motion. But I'm very sure you must have seen these different types of motion happening with you or surrounding you in your daily life. So let us correlate and understand what are these different different types of motion. But students, let us go one by one. The first type of motion that we are going to study is called as linear motion. What do you mean by linear motion. The meaning of the term linear is straight, one line. You must have seen bullock carts moving from one place to another. So we say a bullock cart moves slowly in one direction. One direction means linear motion. You must have seen ants which are moving one behind the other in a straight line. So ants move in one line one after the other. So we say ants are in linear motion. Isn't it very simple students? Students, let us now understand in detail how do we define linear motion. Linear motion is basically of two types. First is called as uniform linear motion. The second is called as non-uniform linear motion. It's very simple. You must have seen a parade, right? Where all the soldiers here are moving in a specific direction and that too a specific distance and that too in a specific time. So we say that they are performing uniform linear motion. So what is uniform linear motion? Motion in which a specific distance is being covered in a particular period is called uniform linear motion. Here remember the velocity 
remains constant. What do you mean by velocity remains constant? All are moving the same distance in the same time. Let us now understand the second type that is non-uniform linear motion. A girl is coming down a slide. As soon as she starts coming down, can I say the velocity goes on increasing? Yes, the velocity increases. So how do we define non-uniform linear motion? Her motion is linear but non-uniform because her speed is continuously increasing. Here the velocity changes. Isn't it very simple? Yes. Let us see some more examples. Here what you can see, a clock is moving, a train, which are these type of motion. It's very simple, a clock which is moving. The motion of the hands of clock is uniform, so we say it is performing uniform linear motion. Here the velocity is constant. A train is starting from the station. Students, as soon as the train starts moving, can I say the velocity of the train goes on changing? Yes. When the velocity of the train goes on changing, so here we say the motion of the train leaving the station is non-uniform as velocity changes. Let us now understand the next type of motion that is called as oscillatory motion. What do you mean by oscillatory motion? You must have heard about this term called as oscillation. What is oscillation? It's very simple. The back and forth motion is called as oscillatory motion. So how do we define oscillatory motion? It's very simple. A back and forth repetitive motion is called as oscillatory motion. You must have seen a bird flying. When the bird is flapping its wings. We say the motion of birds wings are nothing but they are performing oscillatory motion. A person or a child who is sitting on a swing is moving back and forth. So we say the motion of the swing is nothing but oscillatory motion. You must have seen this. It's nothing but a pendulum. When the pendulum is moving, back and forth. Can I say it is moving in the same path again and again? So motion of a pendulum is nothing but back and forth. So again it is called as oscillatory motion. Students, let us now understand the next type of motion, a very simple one that is periodic motion. What do you mean by periodic motion? When object passes through a, a certain point, at regular intervals of time, its motion is called periodic motion. The best example of a periodic motion is the motion of a clock, the hands of the clock. The minute hand completes one round in 60 minutes every time. So we say the minute hand is performing periodic motion. Similarly, the motion of a trapeze, the earth moving around the sun. This is an example of a periodic motion. Let us now learn the next type of motion that is the most simplest one that is random motion. What do you mean by random motion? The word itself tells us random means a motion whose direction changes continuously is called random motion. See, let's see a very beautiful example. The butterfly is flying. It flies anywhere in the sky. So we say the motion has no definite direction. This is called as random motion. Let us see some few more examples of random motion. Oh, a footballer playing the best example of random motion. A boy crawling on the ground is another example of a random motion. The motion of the football player on the field is also of the same type, that is, no definite direction. The motion of a baby crawling is also called as random motion. And the fifth 
type of motion that is circular motion. What is circular motion? Object moving along the circumference of the circle. Now, what do you mean by circumference of the circle? Obviously, it is moving round and round. The best example is the turning of a merry-go-round, the wheels of the bicycle, the blades of the fan, all of them perform nothing but circular motion. Wasn't it very simple? 